I don't even have a bed. All right, what's going on guys? Uh, I'm sure I'm gonna do some sort of intro for this video, but if I don't, welcome back to another hobby hunt. It's like part six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. Uh, today we are gonna be going back to the card shop in Monticello to get another box to open, but I'm gonna try and trade in that Justin Fields Genesis and that Patrick Mahomes and see if I can get an actual big box of something. You know what I mean? But before we do that, it should be known that I did acquire a Darkness Ablaze ETB as well. So that goes up here with the rest of my sealed product. Now, I'm not sure if I'll get Pokemon today. I know a lot of you guys want to see that, but it's just not really what I'm looking for right now. But at the card shop, you can't really tell. So I'm going to hit the road now, and I will see you guys either on the way or when I get there. Uh, never mind. We gotta go get gas. I mean, I probably definitely have enough, but I don't like getting back into town and then needing to go get gas. So we're gonna do that now. And I'm also gonna grab a gas station refreshment because it's like the funnest part of my day. Okay, so we got gas full tank. Looks like it's about to dump a bunch of rain on our heads, which is fine because there's no better weather to go to a card shop than rain. And my refreshment of the day is a Monster Ultra Sunrise. These things are fucking awesome, dude. They taste delicious and there's no sugar in them. Always drink G Fuel. Drink G Fuel over Monster. I'm just saying today I'm having a monster. Anyway, yeah, I'm about to head out now to the card shop and I should be there in 30 minutes or so. I don't plan on filming on the drive. Like I said, I don't like that, but you can't always plan on what you see. And sometimes there's some crazy shit. So either I'll see you guys on the drive there or I will see you guys when I pull in. So we've hit the halfway point now and there's nothing going on. I'm just fucking bored. Dude, what? You couldn't fucking pay me to stay there. The door when she turned 24 with one man was the fastest trip out here I've ever made. I made it in 17 minutes and normally it takes me about a half an hour. I was following a cop the entire time and he was going 95 so I just followed him. Sometimes you got to cheat the system fellas. Ah, the promised land. Hopefully they have the new optic football too. I'm going to check. All right so we're out of the card shop and good news and bad news. The good news they had the new optic that I was looking for. The bad news I tried to trade in the Justin Fields. I wanted 200. They only offered me 175 because there's a dinged corner on it that I literally couldn't see but that's okay. I'll hang on to the card and if he does good it'll be worth more. On top of the optic which was 115 for the box so we've got some ground to make. I did score one vintage polytoad because polytoads underrated as hell and this is in great shape. Anyway we will get into this mega box when I get back home. I am very nervous but excited because I've really wanted this and I hope we hit a downtown. That would be so crazy. But in the meantime, I will drive back and I will see you guys in a little bit. Bro, I have seen Final Destination. I am not going to sit there and drive behind that guy. Okay. Back home, finally. Not sure where I left off with you guys in the vlog, but we are ready to open the $115 mega box from Optic that I've been waiting so long for. So I've seen a lot of people getting damaged cards in packs. I really hope these aren't bent. Also, these are supposed to be one guaranteed memorabilia or auto, so we should be getting an actual hit in here too, but obviously what we're looking for is rookies or the downtown. So it's only four cards per pack. We got 10 packs to open. Let's get on with it. Oh, I think these are all chrome. Yeah, they definitely are. And we already got a silver, so that's good. So we got Jay Crowder, JJ Watt coming from the back. Rondell Moore rated rookie. That's kind of nice. He could pan out. And the silver is... Oh shit! Fuck yeah, let's go! Rated rookie optic Kyle Pitts chrome card. That is amazing. Kinda hard to have a better start than that. Don't worry, I'll top load it later. Dude, what the fuck? Look at that. There's a damaged fucking card in here. God damn it, Panini. Oh good, and we get a sapphire too. If this is a good card, I'm gonna cry. Noah Fant. Chad Johnson, Brown's rookie linebacker. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Oh, uh, what's the sapphire? What's the sapphire? A Chris Evans rated rookie from the Bengals. This card, thankfully, is at least in good shape, but I mean, behind Joe Mixon, how good is he going to do? Next pack. So, Curtis Samuel, TJ Watt, Rashawn Slater. He's a fucking tank too. Great rated rookie. And the silver is... The rated rookie of a Buffalo Bill. Oh god, this is last year. Is it Greg Russo? Fuck yeah, dude. Sick! Greg Russo, Rashawn Slater, and a Kyle Pitts. We've gotten three first round picks so far. Next pack. See if we got anything. We do. We got another silver. Is that in every pack, I wonder? So we got two up base. 
T.Y. Hilton base, not even sure if he's in the league. Rated rookie, Kellen Mond, that turd. He's not even going to be on the roster. And let's see what the pack hit is. What the fuck? Legendary Logos, Trey Lance. I want to look this up before I say it's worthless. Trey Lance, Legendary Logos. Filter, sold items. Eh, 26 bucks to one of them. $20 to another, 22 I mean, hey, that ain't bad at all. We still got six left. See if we get another color in here, we do have a sapphire. All right, so starting off, we got Jared Goff, Jameis Winston coming from the back, Andre Sisko, I, who in the fuck? And our Sapphire is Ramondre Stevenson. Okay, so hear me out. He, he ain't bad. I mean, the thought of a current Patriots running back turning into a Hall of Famer is complete and utterly ridiculous, but you never know, and Damian Harris ain't that bad either. Next pack, Jeff Okuda. Joe Burrow, that's a good looking card. Back is Jamin Davis, linebacker from Washington. It's a Vikings rookie, but I, who did we even pick? It is Chaz Surratt, the linebacker. Not gonna lie, I, I'm not very familiar with him either. Next pack. Oh, never mind. We got our first pack without anything interesting. Jim Kelly, Kenny Galladay, Derrick Henry, Peyton Turner. Three packs left. Um, this one probably has the memorabilia card in it, so we'll save that for last. All right, we got a parallel in this one, so we'll start from the front. We got Bo Jackson, George Kittle coming from the back. We got Devontae Smith. Fuck yes! Dude, these are great. Wait a second. What is this? Jalen Waddle, the rookie, is optic. This is a really cool looking card. I've pulled a couple of these, but not out of the chrome, and usually they have some value, and Jalen Waddle is another first round top pick. Both Bama boys in the same pack, that's really cool. Two packs left, come on baby, give us that downtown. DeAndre Swift, Joe Montana, Anthony Schwartz rated rookie, Peyton Manning optic silver. Non-numbered, but I mean, pretty cool looking card. Okay, last pack luck here. It feels thick, definitely has the memorabilia card in it. I just, I hope it's not a standard jersey. Those cards are just, they're kind of ass. And there is a thick boy in there, as you can see. So, Derek Carr, Delvin Cook, we'll go to the back this time. Michael Carter, very nice looking card. Trying to feel, we got the patch on this side. I don't think it's an RPA. Rookie Phenoms. Who is a Texan? Is it Davis Mills at least? It is, okay. Very cool, you know. That could have been 10 times worse than what it was. And Davis Mills, I still have faith in. So we spent 115 and in return, we got a Kyle Pitts silver rated rookie, Jalen Waddle the rookies insert, a Devontae Smith rated rookie, a Davis Mills rookie phenom, and this nice Trey Lance. Uh, I don't think I made the money back yet, but I think I will very shortly with all these. And uh, yeah, I'll shoot you guys to the outro. All right, guys, but that is going to be all for today's hobby hunting video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed that opening. I had fun with it. I really like it when new sets come out because it makes it feel like it's Christmas. Anyway, stay tuned for more parts of this, and stay tuned for other content on this channel. I know I don't post daily, but I try to get a couple out a week. With everything I just said, I'm going to hop off and get this edited so you can watch it on time. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday, and as always, I will see you in the next video.